feel the vibrational difference between being there where you're constantly having to be nicer to yourself where you're constantly having to forgive yourself because you felt that way and it's okay and getting on a sort of rampage or a pattern where it just feels better and better and better and better and the thing that is required in that it really requires establishing as your first priority your relationship with your inner being who is always there with you and ready to romp which leads us to this really important acknowledgement connection to your inner being feels like a lot of different emotions to you but every one of them feels good so if the emotion in response to the mix of thoughts that you've got going on in any point in time feels satisfying to you then stick with it and let the momentum carry it to a faster moving thought to a more productive thought in that more thoughts are turning to more things so that you get to personally feel what your inner being feels like relative to this thought you are thinking so the way that translates in your experience is thoughts that feel like ooh that's interesting that's a leading to exaltation kind of thought oh that's disturbing that's not one of those thoughts oh that worries me oh that's not one of those thoughts be aware of what the emotion that you're feeling feels like and which way it leans because sometimes when we talk about exaltation and clarity and passion and alignment and love and appreciation and those emotions that you find often and that you know feel so good you want to jump from where you are right to that well the law of attraction does not work that way you've got to allow yourself an increasingly resistance free environment in order for you to allow that momentum so let's just consciously acknowledge that the acceleration or the increase in momentum is always about the decrease of resistance and so then let's just say that an increase in momentum is always about a decrease of negative emotions now let's go back precisely to what we were talking about earlier but let's say it in different words are we talking about the path of most good feelings or are we talking about a path of fewer bad feelings more good feelings yeah of course but you are where you are you are where you are and so this is what we really want you to feel about the emotional scale it doesn't matter where you are on the emotional scale there are feelings that feel better and feelings that feel worse and so rather than comparing yourself to the whole world let you yourself have a relationship with your inner being who is actively involved in your emotional guidance system and what anybody else thinks about anything is irrelevant that's the ultimate you being nice to you one last thing we want to say we know you heard all of that but what to do about it now what to do about it how to apply that in a sort of real way well what we would do if we were standing in your physical shoes is that we would understand the value the loveliness the importance of our guidance system of our emotions and we would embrace them all because we promise you your inner being is never looking at you no matter where you stand in any thought or in any emotion and judging you as inappropriate your inner being always remains in that vibration of love but you've got to put yourself in a position where you can get within range of being swept up as one of the cooperative components your inner being is not going to join you in those lower vibrations in order to pull you back you have to be self-adjusting you have to care about how you feel and you have to practice the way that you do feel you have to care about how you feel and you have to practice the way that you do feel you have to care about how you feel and you have to practice the way that you feel